Hello, it's Miss Emma. Students watch their video and then they do the coding poster to reinforce, consolidate what they just learned in the video lesson. They watch their code level video and the next activity in the phase two routine is the coding poster. So on the coding poster, they start off with visual prompts, which are for phonemic awareness. Then they go to uh, phoneme, to grapheme recognition and letter formation. They go to use those sound picks, the representations of the speech sounds, to decode words. So there's green purple, yellow, blue. So they're using what they've learnt to actually decode with fluency. You've got your chance, you've got your high frequency words, there are 100 there, but there are 400 altogether. So when they do their duck level video, there are 400 high frequency words that they have to be able to not only recognise quickly, but also duck hand, the, uh, the, uh, uh, I, I, and, and, is, is. They have to be able to spell them. And of course, they also have to be able to read them in sentences with a, with expression, with them a speaking voice, not a robot voice. So the video means that they put the headphones on and they're working at their code level. They go to their poster and they're working at their level. So the children move through at their pace. You can have children sitting at the laptop with the heads, headphones and the splitters working at that level. You've got children working in the, you know, doing split valve diagrams and what have you. So you can have new children coming in that start, they can start there and that's absolutely fine because the children all do the same activity at the same time but at their code level. So you've got some children reading these sentences, some children reading these sentences. Every day they know what's going to happen, so it's spaced repetition, which is a really fantastic way for the brain to learn.